Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I, even though this one has a black lid, I did them in two different ways, and I'm playing with the, the uh, shadow tool, which is your shadow tool right there. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make this cylinder. I'm just gonna make one. I'm gonna hit the plus key on the keyboard, and then while holding down the control button, that way it's gonna be even, just take your two-point line, and go from the quadrant to the quadrant, not the edge, the quadrant. That way you're on the exact outside. And then you can cut that line away and you have your item. Now, you could take this shape and make it dark. But on this shape, you can't. So you have to use a smart fill tool because we haven't really, it's not a shape. So we're just going to go with that. Now, I've got this gray. I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and make it black. And then I'm going to go to the transparency tool and I'm going to go from left to right and maybe even a little bit down. And it looks like the light is coming from the other side. Now there's two ways to make a shadow for this. I'm going to hit the plus key and do this. I'm going to go ahead and group this together, control G and control G. So with this first one, we're just going to use the, the shadow tool and I'm just going to go back and it works. And then you can change the intensity of it the you know the darkness or the lightness and you can change how it's basically blurred it takes just a second and then you could always up your intensity too now the other way to do it would be to make a duplicate of this or first of all what we want to do is break it apart let's break it apart for just a second ungroup it and then your creative boundary tool comes in effect and there's your boundary. Now, I can color in the boundary a, a light gray and take away the outline by right-clicking. And now I can double-click on this boundary tool and I can just skew it over. Now, we need to go to Object, Order, Back a Page, so it's like that. This would be like a vector shadow because it's crisp, clean lines. And but the way I one thing I like about it, you have to break the shadow apart to do anything. You don't have to break this apart; it's a separate item, so you can kind of manipulate it, you know, where it's right there. And then if you want to blur it a little bit, you can always go to Effects, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And I've got it set pretty high, but you can blur that shadow. And we're probably too tall, so we can bring that shadow down or bring it in. You know that away and of course you'd probably want it on this lip so you'd probably want to stretch it a little bit but there's just another way to do a shadow and of course we need to bring it up and make sure it's not at the bottom two different effects pretty cool hope that helped thank you for watching